Hello everybody, welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Tonight is the Coca-Cola 600. We have 100 laps up for tonight's event. Let's get down on pit road for the starting lineup. Alright, here we go. Ryan Newman gets his first pull of 2014. Wait, either second or first. I don't know if he won the pull in Phoenix, but first, well, he, went, he wins the pull for tonight. You got Kyle Busch starting in second. In row two, we have Superman, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and the Pennzoil boy, Joy Logano. You got fifth place, Brian Vickers, having a stellar season so far. Can he, bring, can he keep up the momentum and win tonight? We'll find out. And then you got Jeff Gordon starting in sixth. In row four, seventh, Brad Keselowski, and in eighth, Casey Kane. Rounding out your top ten is Paul Menard and Kurt Busch. Looking at a few notables here. Ricky Stenhouse qualifying 11th. Jimmy Johnson in 12th. Um, but the worst of the Hendrick cars, I believe, is Casey Kane. Where is he? Uh, where He's is he? He's all the way over at 8th place. Yeah. Well, Jimmy Johnson is the worst out of the starting Hendrick cars. And I think the worst of the like the drivers that are notable Kevin is Harvick probably Harvick. Kevin did not qualify well, it looks like. Yeah. Neither Apparently, did Denny Hamlin. Apparently, um, both of them were complaining about how their cars were extremely loose. They're looking to make adjustments first cycle of pit stops or the first caution. But we'll see how that goes. The most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. Oh, it's a little off. And they're off. No, tell me nobody got mechanical issues right now. Doesn't look like it. Danica Patrick, last week's All-Star Race winner, starting mid-pack. Last and last points race winner, Denny Hamlin, starting way in the back. One thing I would like to talk about: the top four in points last season, which were the four best drivers all season, only one of them has a win, and that's Denny Hamlin. Jimmy Johnson, Dale Jr., and Kevin Harvick still winless heading into tonight. Do you think one of them will break that streak, Death Bomb? Perhaps. We've seen a lot of crazy action here happen before. I wouldn't put that out of the question. In terms of starting lineup, the most likely will probably be Dale Jr., but Jimmy Johnson and Chad Knauss have stated that they have a plan for tonight. Probably a secret code, so that way none of the drivers tuning into them understand what they're saying. You know, because the spotters do that. Yeah, pace car coming on pit road. And here we are, coming to the green flag for the longest race in NASCAR. Green flag is out here at Charlotte. Boogity, 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 let's go, let's go. Oh, Casey Mears, really close to Harvick right there. So far, so good. They're four wide back there. Here comes Hamlin. Newman leads the first lap of tonight. Dale Jr. following in close behind. Oh, Stenhouse! Shovel in the back. No That's caution, though. They managed to save it for now. I think it was only a tag of the wall, but that could have been very, very bad. Oh, issues for Kenseth. Like he, he keeps it going, but they're, they're, they're sliding all over the place back here. Let's get back up there to the front. Hopefully nothing bad happens back there. So they haven't missed it. The top two just driving away with it right now. Dale Jr. chasing down Ryan Newman. Oh boy, the, that back of the pack is getting even more dicey. Newman leads four laps so far. They are running track records right now. They just broke the record for the fastest lap here, Newman did, along with Junior. 
and Greg Kozlowski. Huh. Right now, Brian Vickers looks like the only one out of the main pack that's really, like, off. The top three are, like, miles better than everyone else. And then you, and you just got everyone behind him. Check that lap by Newman just now. Kenneth ran the fastest lap. Ken's of a 26.97. They are flying here. Let's go find him, and he's... Oh, oh my God. I think Vickers almost just got hooked by... That was Kyle Busch right there. He's just Jeff trying Gordon to... Also in that top five. As the run goes on, the top lane gets better, and here comes Carl Edwards out of nowhere to take it three wide. Oh, Gordon almost got up into the wall. He managed just to keep it off it, though. Got a pretty good run off the corner. Back behind them, though, it looks like it's getting dicey yet again. They're starting to pile out a little bit, though. I feel like the back of the pack is actually forming its own field. Yeah. So, um, let's move back here a little bit to Kurt Busch. Started off the season fantastic. Right now it's starting to fall off a little bit as Harvick almost gets turned by Boyer. They're, they're, oh, oh no. Kyle Larson running up against the wall. But you can't do that just yet. You got to wait till the tires get older. Top two still driving away. Junior slowly reeling him in. But here comes Jimmy Johnson to the inside of his teammate for seventh. Gordon get another, getting another good run off that corner. It looks like Gordon's line is that outside lane. Johnson going to try to send it in there on the inside. That is a beautiful patriotic roast. Gordon to the Gordon inside. Over. Trying to get him a little loose, taking all, all the air off the spoiler. Can't quite get there. Here comes Kurt Busch right behind Jeff Gordon for looking uh, passing for eighth. Let's get back up there. Shurek sends it in really deep trying to see if the outside lane is in yet, but it is not. Newman led every single lap so far. He won, he won Phoenix earlier in the season after a great battle between him and Kyle Larson. Speaking of Larson, where is he? It's further in the back in the teens. Slowest Hendrick car right now is in 17th. That is Casey Kane. Any Hamlin after starting in the tail end. Well, not really tail end, but in the back. Saying the car does not handle that well. That means expect a, a setup change. Hopefully it'll benefit him. Ninety laps, well, eighty-nine laps to go this time. Newman's still holding out in front, starting to pull away from Junior a little bit. Keslowski in the middle of no man's land right now, not gaining. The fastest car on the track is Carl Edwards out of nowhere. He gained, I mean, he passed Kyle Busch that lap, but as you can see, they're running right around the same line as they were last time we went here, putting their right sides in the middle lane, their left sides in the bottom. Apparently, the driver said that was the fastest lane here, but you can make ground on the bottom, but you have to be really patient about it. And knowing these guys, they are not patient at all. Lap car is entering turn three right now. Well, back in the field is at least. Due to how fast these cars are going, though, it looks like this race will be a bit shorter than expected. Damage for Eric Amarola. I don't know how he got that. You want to go look back at it, Ethan? Hmm, perhaps. Let's see. He got it this lap. Let's see. To the inside of McMurray. Danny Hamlin taking it three wide. It's in the middle of the back stretch. 
It looks like it happens in turns three and four. Oh! Ooh! Nasty Man, hit for him. 30th place right now. McMurray in 32nd. Let's see if there's any damage on McMurray's car. I'm um, taking a guess, yeah. Let's see here. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. The rear, the right rear is caved out a little bit. Let's um, move away from the field. These drivers um, also might not make it on fuel. Like, I think they might have to make it two stopper. When well, they're going that quick and so much fuel is just getting burned out like that, yeah, I don't doubt that at all. These other drivers may not be as fast because they're trying to conserve just a little bit of fuel. It might be the reason why the outside's not there yet. These guys just, whenever someone passes them, they just let them go. Mm-hmm. Dale Jr. right now could be saving fuel behind Ryan Newman. But I'll tell you who isn't saving fuel, and that's the driver of the 99. He is chasing them down right now. 27-3 to a 27-4 by Newman. Lap cars in the way. They're a little bit away though. Like 28-5 by the slowest car in the field. That is Reed Sorensen to a 27-4. They're a second off. Death bomb, this is not gonna end well. I can only imagine. <laughs> but we are 20 laps into 100. 80 laps to go this time by. There's a lot of action going on in the middle of the pack right around here. These guys are pretty much even. Then you get at the front. Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch right now is trying to salvage this as Newman still leads every lap so far. We're going to have Reed Sorensen here. Slowest car in the pack is Josh Wise with a 28-7. And Carl Edwards now two tenths faster than the leaders. Let's go on board with him. He's hitting 203 and a one. Then he hits a 180 in turn one and two. He's running a completely different line than him. You see, oh! Trouble for Josh Wise. He saves it, but now the Ooh. leaders are up to him. Josh Wise and Reed Sorensen. Haven't they had a history before here? Yes, they have. Nothing too severe, though, but hopefully that stays like that. G Dale Jr. loses a ton of ground. Is about to get passed by Carl Edwards as he. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Where, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's gonna. He's gonna take it out. <sighs> Manages just to save it. Wow, that was close. <sighs> I just had a heart attack there, and I'm not even driving. <laughs> Ryan hey, Newman, huh? We're only at the core of a way through this thing. You think you're going to be able to make I don't know. Jimmy Johnson chasing down Brad Kozlowski. Looking to take it three wide here. He moves down to the inside, but does he have enough grip to hold, make it stick? It looks like it. Bill Jr. behind lap cars. Carl Edwards now trying to march his way up to Ryan Newman, who has been the best car all race so far. Lap cars are either going to be helping Carl Edwards or they're going to be his biggest downfall. I still don't understand how Michael and Annette won a race, if I'm being honest. Let's 
flyby. Talk about Casey Mears here. Running a really good race so far. 24th. Not bad at all. Uh, what are these two doing? I think Austin Millen's a little upset with how Trevor Bain's racing him. <laughs> yeah, it's clear to see why. That was a mean block on Trevor Bain's part as Reed Sorensen just hit the wall. Let's uh, get back up to the front. Nothing but clear racetrack in front of the top three, top five, really, in terms of lap cars. Whoa. Not many laps to go. Can Carl Edwards running him run him down before his tires get old? Round of lap cars in front of your leader. Outside line, still not there yet. Because Kyle Bush just ran it and he didn't get any run off of that. See the run Kurt Busch gets as yes, he goes all the way to the wall, trying to maximize that exit, but he gets loose exiting the corner. Ryan Newman up to lap cars, lost two tenths to Carl Edwards. Right now, listening to Newman's radio, he is not happy with the lap cars right now. Oh, my God. That was close. These lap cars are just going to continue to get worse and worse for these drivers. The, the more lap cars you pass, the faster they get. Mm -hmm. And the tougher they are to get around. Going across the line, Newman was going close to 196. See how fast he comes at the line this time. 190, 196 still. Yeah. Carl Edwards is there. Trying to get him loose on the back bumper. Almost turned him. Mm-hmm. But when will they pit? Because they cannot make it to the end on fuel. Carl Edwards is just pushing him right now. But now he finally makes a move to the inside. Can he make it stick? He's going to get the run on the low lane. But then he's going to get the run off the top. Will it be enough though? Yeah, he can pull the crossover. Never mind. He pulls to the outside. Oh, he checked up a lot. There he goes. I don't know why he checked up so much on entry. Like, let's look at Jimmy Johnson Jr. here. Let's see if the outside's still not there. It's still not there. They are getting really loose up there, according to Jr. That he can't, he can't drive it up there. But Harvick's, have, I think it might just be the setup these guys have. These guys have the setup to make it better on the bottom. Harvick, like guys like Harvick, might have it better to make it up on the top. Which is good because then you don't have as much traffic to deal with since nobody is up there. Oh, 
Ryan Newman now reeling in Carl Edwards. Oh. Oh my God, that was close. You think Newman can get there? 27.87. Yeah, well, Carl Edwards is the fastest car on the racetrack right now. And Newman has to stay in touch with him or else it's all over. Lap car, Justin Allgaier in the way. He's only nine tenths off. Might sound really bad, but depends on what just Justin lets him go to the inside. Or will he pinch him? No, he won't. He will go to the outside and let him go. It is the number 23 of Alex Bowman, I believe? Yep. Up and coming driver here in the Cup Series. Carl Edwards just changed his line a little bit. I don't know why. Didn't seem to work for him that well. Newman has gained almost a tenth right there. Carl Evers running a lower line now. Kevin Harvick right now running in fifth. This is his best run of the entire season so far. Hopefully it doesn't end. 60 to go this time by. When will they pit? We'll find out. Will we get a caution too? Like... Other than Reed Sorensen plowing the wall, really nothing too severe is happening. Eric Amarola with major damage to his right side and getting passed by Carl Evers now. Oh, he... Oh! Tried blocking him. Newman runs the top there. Because he thought they were going to have a massive accident and Amarola blocks him. I love how they're changing up their lines, trying to find something fast. Dale Jr. gets really loose to the inside of Jimmy Johnson, but he gets him looser. Last driver inside the top 10 is Kyle Larson. But that's about to change because Tony Stewart is the fastest out of these four. By a lot, too. Move up to the front. Jimmy Johnson just ran into the back of Alex Bowman. Oh! You don't want to be doing that in front of those three. Oh! Close call there for Newman. Wow! Let's go back on that. I, I can't believe that happened. How did Newman not wreck there? Let's see here. David Reagan runs the top. Newman charges down low. Wow. Uh, um, oh my god, this is not good. Trouble for Matt Kenseth. Oh man, he was having a good day too. He posted the fastest lap at one point. What happened? Kyle Busch is slow. Right, Alex Woman has major front end damage. Let's go back and see what happened. And there is still no yell. What happened? Did he just run out of fuel? We'll see. 
he lost power. That is not good. And then look. Oh. Oh. Nice save, though. Kyle yeah. Busch with no damage. There's debris everywhere. There's still no caution. Okay, there is no caution. All right, so we can skip ahead now. All right, they make it. Well, Alex Bowman's out of the race. Um, mm. Doesn't look like anybody's making pit stops yet. Coming up soon to be halfway. Matt Kenseth, I don't know what happened to him. He was running really well. Josh Wise in the wall. Not really wise of him to do that. I think the outside's nice. starting to kick in now because Harvick's getting looser and looser on the bottom. And Junior's running the top right now. I think so far the driver of the night would probably have to beat Kevin Harvick. He started closer to the back of the field, but now he's already up into the top five and looking to For a third. get third. Well, let's get up there to your top two. Kendrick oh, back no, out on the racetrack. Kendrick. Trying to salvage his day. He is extremely slow, though. Check his speed real quick. Let's see what he tops out at. Oh, my God. That might be the He's slow. only going 181. He's wide open in the corners. Oh, whoa, whoa. Harvick got loose there. The outside finally catching his mark as David Reagan's in the wall back there. Cars Clash. all over the place. These temperatures are not made well for these cars right now. These guys that made it better on the bottom are now starting to see why they shouldn't have done that. They should have made it for the top because now they're starting to get looser and looser. Halfway in the in the Coca-Cola 600, Carl Edwards has dominated ever since he took the lead away from Ryan Newman. Listening into the radio, sounds like he will be he's thinking about pitting very soon. They're three wide for third right now, or they were. Junior's going to get held up by Blake Cook. Looking to take it three wide to not lose as much time as now Harvick is up to third. Where's McMurray? McMurray's in 27th? Oh. Pit stops. Let's see here. Um, Death Bomb, I think we're getting ready for pit stops. Josh Wise and Reed Sorensen down pit road. I'm going to skip back up to the front. And nobody else, really. Oh my god, look at how slow he is on the straightaways. One second separating the top two. Carl Edwards lost two tenths to Ryan Newman there because of the lap cars looking to finally pull away again because he's a clear of them. Kevin Harvick, 28-4-6-6. Still not as fast as, oh, as Ryan Newman even. Still no pit stops. Rick Murray down pit road. Kurt Busch Semper Road along with Ricky Stenhouse. Carla was still staying out. Jimmy Johnson changing up his line again. Never mind. They're pitting. <gasps> and the cycle begins. Wait, are these guys out of fuel? 
Are they? There's a caution. What happened? Wait, where's the pace car? Right there. there There's a caution. What? What, what happened? happened? Okay. Right here. Okay. What happened? Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Let's look and see what happened here. Kozlowski and Clint Boer. Racing for seventh. Kozlowski gets tight. Takes him and Boyer out. Oh, Larson. Ooh. Did he get hit again? It doesn't look like no. it. No. Pair road is open. Dale Jr. has already pitted, though. What's he doing? <gasps> hey, Jimmy Warrior. Johnson, what are you doing? <laughs> gets taken out, and oh, the 14 gets taken out, too. Dude, I can fetch you. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh. Dale Jr. looks like he's going to be the leader. On the, wait a minute. But no, many? he's not. He's a lap down. Oh, oh this boy. completely boned him. Since there's no free pass on this game. He's boned. Let's go ahead and accelerate. Lap 61. Pace car lights probably off. Alright. Alright. So your leader right now is Carl Edwards. But we'll go find him. He is right there. Look at all those lap cars. The ones in front of him are fighting for their lives. I hope for another caution. Yawns on the inside. I've seen better days. We still have over 41 cars left in this race. I don't think that's going to last for long. Do you think? No, there's no way. I will be shocked if we don't have a caution. I feel like we're going to end up with 30 cars by the end of this. You know, Dale Jr. leading the pack right now, but he's not the leader. That goes to Carl Edwards. Perot is open just in case somebody doesn't want to kill him. Maybe field. he'll reset once they get across the line? No. Uh, who's that coming up to the field? If he's a lap down, then why is he on the outside lane? He's, you know, he's on the lead lap now, but he has to go around and pass everyone again. That's how the free, the free pass worked back then. He gets a uh. great jump. Ooh, very and well it done. doesn't though. And they're and wrecking in the back. Oh my god! Oh, there they go. Four Five. cars involved. Five. Let's see if anybody else gets it collected. Or anything else Kansas happens. Kansas is way too slow to be up there. Josh Kansas Wise is playing follow leader right now. Looks like they're okay. That was such Caution. a brutal, brutal impact. Carl Edwards is your leader, still. But well, the, thing, the worst thing that happened to him is now these guys on the lead lap. Junior's wish came true. Yep. Let's look and see what happened. Brian Vickers got other guys, destroyed. Their wishes Are did crushed. not. So, who caused the caution there? Oh, okay. It was a horrible jump. It was Cole Witt. Cole Witt takes a three. Harvick, what is Harvick doing? It was Harvick. Oh. oh. Hard, vicious crash. Let's go on board with uh, Ryan Vickers here. Let's see his point of view of this. The green now. I think oh. Because so many cars were trying to get into a middle lane from the start, I feel like Harvick had nowhere to go. 
Jimmy and Johnson just ends up scored not. in 20th. Junior in 18th. How many cars were out of the race from that wreck? Oh, I pressed my button. Uh, two car, uh, one car DNF, and that was David Reagan. Ooh. Yeah. I knew Dave Reagan, he smacked the wall hard. I would have thought the others would have probably been out of the race as well. We're going green this time. It looks like, I believe Kirk Bush did not get his lap back because he got held up. So now he has to fight for it again. Mm -hmm. Dale Jr., those guys are in it now, but they have to hope that that doesn't happen again. How long has this race lasted so far, Jake? 40 minutes. Almost 45. Actually, let's accelerate a little bit because I don't want to wait too long. All right, here we go. Carl Edwards dominated the race ever since he took the lead, like I just said. But he has to hope that Newman does not get a good jump here or else I think Newman is going to be unstoppable because of how good of a short run car he has. But don't forget about Biffle either. You know what? Another person who I would look for is, of course, Kevin Harvick. Although he may have got a little bit of damage from that wreck. I'm not too sure. Didn't look like it. Green flag is back out. Oh, here they go again. They're a little bit smarter about it now. Carl Edwards yeah, with a fantastic restart. I'd look back. I'd, I'd look back at Kenzo right now, Jake. It does not look good. He held up everybody that was fast. Man. Cole Whip. Oh my god. I think they'll be fine though. Alright, let's get up to the front. Ooh! Number 36. Oh! I think. Nice save again. I thought I saw someone spinning. I was about to freak out. They're four wide. They're four wide. They are? No, they're not. Okay, they're fine now. They they're, no, they're not. What is happening back here? 30 laps, 31 laps to go right now. Look at Jeff Gordon. Hold on. The top two teammates right now, Carl Edwards and Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle already has a win this season. Will he let Carl Edwards have it, or will he take it for himself? We're about to the find out. Very similar paint schemes as well. 30 laps to go here at Charlotte. Kurt Busch oh, right. someone I think was spinning. There's somebody had damage. I think it was, I think it was Marcus Ambrose because there's now damage to both cars. Someone I think almost spun in the tri-oval. I didn't get a good look at that. I thought they spun for a second. Who's Junior? Oh, there oh. he is. This is chaotic. Oh, oh no! No! Oh! 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 Oh my God! Caution is out. Oh no, well, they, they're gonna run into him. They're gonna run into him. No, don't worry, he despawned just in time. Oh. Oh my god. That was a brutal, brutal crash. You said it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Shermar Speedway after a very devastating crash involving the 51 of Justin Allgaier, who has been uh, transported to the local hospital for his injuries following a horrific crash. Unfortunately, not long after the crash, we ended up having a blackout here at Charmer Speedway, and some of the footage was lost. However, we were able to regain most of it, which is good. And now we're coming back to, to the green flag to hopefully finish this race quickly. 28 laps to go. The green flag is back out again. And Junior gets the jump. They are four wide in the back. Oh, they're going to wreck. Not and not there he goes, Big Barry. There you go. 
and Jeff Only Gordon, McMurray. Jane McMurray, a couple others were involved. Only McMurray got damaged. The three by three. Who's gonna get it off a of turn four? Junior oh, sends it all the way up to the wall. Good. This is not good. And Junior is going to be your leader coming to the caution. That bonsai this move to the outside saved him. I thought Ambrose was going to get there on the low line. Oh. Due to the track being rubbered in, the outside's finally in. Let's look back and see what happened. Everyone just bunched up at the start. Four wide. That, that, that's not working. Only driver that, that got working. damaged was Biffle and McMurray. Gordon avoided it. Let's go on board with Gordon in that. On that restart. I think he did scrape the wall a little bit though. Not too much damage. Let's say you can get it back up there. I think I What are you in? I think I'll be fine. I mean, this is yeah. Jeff Gordon we're talking about, so I think I'll be okay. This is Jeff Gordon. Yes. Caution's out. Um, Dale Jr. is your leader. He is... He took the lead after a bonsai move to the outside. Carl Edwards, who's dominated the race so far, in second. And you got Newman further back due to a pit road issue when he was coming up to the pits. Alright, we're going green this time. No lap cars due to all of them dying. Also because, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have one lap cars of this race after that. Double file restart, immediately them wrecking on the front track. These guys are getting more aggressive and a bit more messy. But, I mean, it is understandable though. We are heading down towards the last few laps of this race. But, after that crash with the 51, these guys better be a bit more careful because who knows if we're going to end up having another crash like that. Speaking of the 51, I just got news of him. He is alive and well, but it is unlikely he will be returning to the track at Dover. Yes, uh, he more than likely will be out of action for the next couple races. We'll have to get a replacement driver in for him. Pace, ro Pace Road? Pace car coming down on a pit road. Dale Jr. leading them coming to the green flag once again. Well, not once again, but yeah. And we're back here at Charlotte. Not that great of a jump there for Jr., but a, an amazing jump for Kevin Harvick. I believe it'll be 22 to go this time by. They're three time wide. The field already. Kevin Harvick started in the tail end of the field early in the race. Trying to get all he can. Carl Edwards, who's dominated the entire race, now trying to AJ, salvage it. Yes? I think it's time for cranking up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right. Crank it up. And never mind. There's someone who is spinning in the back. That is the seven of Michael Annette. And the caution is back <gasps> out yet again. Dale Jr. leads him to the line. <laughs> well, we were going to do a crank it up, but... Uh, well, we'll do a crank it up when we go back green. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's suck and see what happened. Oh, and that just got tight there. 
Yeah, that ain't good. Nowhere to go for the 95. And now he's on pit road. Still no DNFs yet. Ever since that massive wreck. Mm -hmm. Pit road is open again, but I don't think anybody should be pitting. No attackers. Nope. All right, now let's accelerate. Wait a minute. No. Oh, no. We got a lap car. Oh, boy. It's Michael and Nett. Michael and Nett's going to go all the way up to the front. Who do you think we should be on board for for Crank It Up on the restart? Kyle Larson, who? Or hmm. Michael and Nett. I don't think we should do Michael and Nett, if I'm being honest, because he's the one involved in the wreck. So let's go on board with Gordon. How about Jeff Gordon? Jeff Gordon's up there down. Where is Gordon? There he is. Biffle has major rear end damage. Mm -hmm. Jeff Gordon. Watch Jeff Gordon's fine. Well, that's if there isn't another wreck. Yeah. Golden Green was 17 laps to go here at Charlotte. Not much time for these guys in the back. They have to hurry up. Here we go. We're now going to break it up. Green flag is out here at Charlotte. Dale Jr. still out with the lead. They have not wrecked y'all. They're wrecking in turn one. Yep. There they They saved it somehow. Couple drivers in the wall, though. Michael Nett still straight in that wall. Let's get up to your leaders. Dale Jr. driving away from Harvick. Harvick has to hope that this thing goes green if he wants a chance at Jr. Jerry Logano there. He's also been doing very well today. Back with the third. Kevin Harvick still trying to reel him in. Will it be enough though? 13 laps to go here at Charlotte. Do you think we're going to get another caution or do you think we're going to make it? Mm, I don't know. Depends on how the back of the field will handle out. Speaking of the back of the field, let's see how they're doing. Michael Annette. Hmm. Lap car might be a factor. Here comes Lagan to the inside of Harvick. Harvick's not going to let him get away. It's Carl Edwards running in fourth right now. 11 to go this time by. They are losing so much time to Junior because they're side by side. They don't need that. Harvick all the way up against the wall. Logano has to block him. Oh, Harvick is loose. But he dives it out on the inside now. Carl Edwards, what looked like such a perfect run right now, looks like it's not going to be enough. Ten to go. This time by for Dale Jr. 
last season had such a dominant race car sadly got involved in a massive wreck this season can he get redemption for that he's got nine more laps can he do it will Superman get to victory lane I guess we'll call him Super Dale. <laughs> that actually was pretty funny, not gonna lie. But here's the issue, boys. There's a lap car, and he's really off the pace. I don't see a way how Harvard can get up there. He's lost so much time. He he really has to he has to really become the closer now if he wants to win this race. Well, I mean, last week's All-Star Race ended up with a last lap pass and a last lap crash. We'll see what happens here as Lagana looks to the inside of Harvick. <gasps> Not going to be enough, though. Eight to go. Then he hammered all the way up against the wall, getting as much momentum as he can to get up and pass Carl Edwards. Hey, Death Bomb. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh boy. Rack Kozlowski threw some mean blocks on. Who was that? Let's go look. It was AJ. AJ, who has run all the way in the 20s up to 12th now. Great run for him. But here's the bad news, guys. Lap car Rack is going to. Catching out to Dale slightly. Slightly, he's gained two tenths on him. Will it be enough, though? Because they have a lap car in the way, and that's going to play a factor because he's really slow. Caution now, it ends the race. Junior has to duck down low. Michael in that blocks! Oh, right in front of him. Harvick and Logano slide right underneath. They're right on the back of the scale. He's going to need security after tonight if Junior loses this race because of him. Get it? The Kyle Busch thing. I'm, I, yeah. Here we go. Down to four laps to go here, Charlotte. Just six miles left in this race. Can Junior hold off Harvick and Logano? Or will Logano try to pull a move on Harvick? Harvick is... Harvick is patiently waiting for his opportunity to pass him. It could be now. He changed his lineup. Moving down low. Right on the back bumper of him. It's less than a tenth separating all three of them. And he, he's slowly getting there. Junior's just a better car at holding somebody off. Surprise, Harvick has not made the move yet. Big checkup for Harvick, and here comes Logano. Logano's going to try to make that move. I think that's all she wrote. Two to go. No more lap cars to play a factor. They lost so much time. Yeah, that was not a good move by Logano. That screwed them both. Harvick trying to do one last send on the outside. But here they go. White flag here at Charlotte. Side by side for second. Heading into turns one and two for the final time. Like I said, Junior last season dominated the race early on. Got involved with a massive wreck. This season he will get his redemption. Exiting turn four for the final time. For the first time this season, Dale Jr. wins at Charlotte. Super Dale gets the victory lane. Victoria Lagana second. Kevin Harvick third. Denny Hamlin up to fourth. Very nice job by him. Carl Wolves fifth. The number nine of Marcus Ambos is in sixth. Ryan Newman 7th, Jimmy Johnson 8th, Kyle Larson ninth, and Clint Boyer 
rounds out the top 10. What a race. Entertaining. Very entertaining. And yet tragic at the same time. Thoughts and prayers to the Augar family and everybody that was involved in that horrifying wreck. And I think we might want to stay on pit road for a little bit. Looks like Harvick and Logano may get into a little bit of a conversation after that one. Uh. Because I can tell Harvick is pissed. Well, hold on. I just saw... Oh. Oof. Um, I, I think Shrek's a little upset. Well... <laughs> The longest race of the season, miles-wise, is complete. Very, an interesting race, to say the least. Better than last season, oh 100%. Oh, boy, oh, no. Yep, yep, Harvick is pissed. He's making his way over to Logano's. Hopefully, there's just a conversation between the two. <laughs> Looks like they're having a chat. No helmets thrown yet. Okay. It could have been worse. Harvick walking away now. Those two are not happy, though. Be on the lookout for that at Dover. Anyways. Yeah, that move by Logano just kind of screwed them both over. Harvick thought he had a good shot of that. But then again, though, I mean, Harvick checked up deep into turn three. And I don't know as to why that was. Maybe Logano saw Harvick checking up, thought he'd be able to get around him easily and then fight up to get to Junior. But no. Well, entertaining race. Next week is Dover. Be sure to tune into that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.